guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of keeping up with coco if you are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification and follow me on instagram at keeping up with coco underscore that's k-u-w-c-o-c-o -C -O underscore once i get to 10,000 subscribers i am giving away 200 dollars and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. So go ahead and do that right now so that you don't miss your chance to win $200. Now today I wanted to bring this video to you guys because I get a lot of these questions. Like when I tell um, sugar baby story times and stuff like that. A lot of people want to know how to spot a fake sugar daddy. And a lot of you guys say, you know... You talk to guys on these um, platforms or you know websites like Seeking Arrangement, Secret Benefits, and you guys say that you know a lot of the guys on there are fake. I have said that myself, and that is true. You literally have to go through probably like I want to say 20, 30 guys before you could come across someone who is even close to being a sugar daddy material so i'm just gonna basically give you guys my little tips on how i go about weeding out these guys the guys that i know that are basically just there to waste my time okay and when i go on these sites i'm not going there to go waste my time i'm going to go see if i can find me a sugar daddy like you know it's a serious thing this is not no joke a lot of them have learned the game have mastered the game okay they have figured out how to go around and get girls and usually it's like the new girls like you know 18 year olds 19 year olds like they're new to trying to find them like you know a sugar daddy and they come across one of these like clowns these fake spoilers these fake sugar daddies these wannabe sugar daddies um and you know they just they basically take advantage of them so i'm gonna basically show you guys how to spot a fake sugar daddy from a mile away okay to see him coming i can see him coming and he's broke so we're gonna start with the simple if you are going off of their profile on a dating website okay these are the first things that i look at okay one if they didn't write anything if they didn't take their time to put a bio like talk about themselves and da 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 i wouldn't even waste my time trying to reach out to them because you don't know who you're reaching out to so it's like um uh, tell me about yourself you see some of these guys they have nothing in their bio they have nothing um no pictures no nothing and then their net worth is like two million dollars they literally just want you to see the two million dollars it's like okay two million dollars but do you like to give some of that two million dollars away like two million dollars but are you a midget like two million dollars what so if they don't have nothing in their bio it's trash okay um if they do have something in their bio one of the biggest biggest things that i see a lot of guys do and now a lot of girls might think oh okay he says no professionals meaning that he doesn't want an escort or you know blah blah, blah. listen if he says no professionals in his thing basically what he's trying to tell you is this right sis he's basically trying to tell you that he wants you to come and hang out with him for free he wants to take you out to dinner for free and possibly at dinner you know uh tell you that you guys might come up with an arrangement or we should be friends and see where things goes and da -da. fraud fraud it's fake i will waste my time if they say they don't want a professional that means they don't want a girl that's gonna ask them for money straight up point blank period and it's like what are you doing fake if they say they don't want any professionals in their bio they're fake they don't want to spend any money in this situation you want to think i can escort the money or nothing if you're a 60 year old like what do you think a 20 21 year old 22 year old 24 year old is looking at you for like granted some of them are cute but like what do you think i'm with you 
you for or I'm hanging out with you for because I simply just want to be around a 60 year old man. Hmm. Another thing that you will notice in a lot of their profiles is like if they're too like obvious about like I'm going to take you on trips and I'm going to take you to the finest restaurants. Listen, there's a way for someone that has the money to say he's going to take care of you. Usually they'll say something along the lines of, um, you know, I've been in plenty of relations, relationships before, so I know how to treat a woman or, you know, I love um, taking care of my um, significant other or my sugar baby or, and I love providing for her. They won't make it simply like, oh, you want to take flights? Because this is how I be reading it, okay? Like, oh, you want to take flights? I'm your guy. Oh, you want to do this? I'm your guy. Fraud. Because when you think about it, people aren't just booking flights like the next day. Like, oh, I'm about to book you a flight to uh, Cancun tomorrow, like, and I just met you online today. It doesn't work like that. That's kind of stuff that comes with time. Now, sending you money, yeah, I might have met you today. You can send me money tomorrow, but like things like trips and like taking vacations together and stuff like that that all comes with time so if they're if that's all they like they're throwing in their bio they're trying to basically like you know get you all excited like oh i want to hang out with him or oh, maybe if i do this if i do that he's going to like you know he's gonna bitch no i'm a flashy person but i'm not one of those people who is like into people being too overly flashy to get my attention like you know when guys wear like a big ass gold chain and you know a lot of girls be like oh that's so hot that's a to me it's like uh you're doing too much like you need to buy that big ass chain to, to show that you have money basically um so to me when they write that in their bio it's basically wearing a big ass chain on their neck like, a little too obvious about how they're gonna spend money on you and how they're gonna do that and then you're gonna i would automatically assume that they're being um fake and they're basically trying to convince me that you know i they're gonna be a good sugar daddy but for the most part they probably are not gonna be a good sugar daddy once we've gotten through the profile situation so let's say you know you didn't find anything wrong with his profile you really like the way like you know he expressed himself you know you're interested like okay maybe this is a guy that i could vibe with like i would like to, to know more about this person another way to spot before you even meet them if they are sugar daddy material or not is simply how or where they choose to take you on your first date they ask you if you want to pick a place what i always do is pick the most expensive restaurant in your town your city your state i pick the most expensive restaurant because i want to see the response okay it's the response for me so let's say he asks me where I would want to go, so I throw like the most expensive restaurant out there, okay? Now, if he suggests something less, like way less, like if, let's say this is a five star restaurant and he's suggesting we go to a three star restaurant, I won't take him serious. He's not much of a sugar daddy because first of all, if I say I like it, you should take me there, point blank, period. Now, if he's saying, oh, let's go somewhere else, it's most likely because he knows that that place that you picked out was super expensive and he doesn't want to pay for that price. So you should automatically already assume that he's going to be one of those people that if you throw a number at him, he's going to debate with you and try to, you know, lower your number. And we don't want that. Okay, period. You should be able to tell by that arrangement right there that he either has money or he doesn't have any money based on the type of restaurant that he decides to meet you okay that's my other number two flag let's say that you guys chose a restaurant and you are you know basically meeting at the restaurant now when it's time for the night to end or when it's time to talk about the you know important things like you know an arrangement because duh it's a sugar baby sugar daddy relationship the pur the purpose of this is so they can be an arrangement um so if he goes oh um 
I'm not one of those people that like to talk about arrangements and um, I would rather it just, you know, um, like figure itself out. Like the arrangement will figure itself out. Like, let me tell you something. No, sir, okay? <laughs> Fraud. Basically what he's trying to say is he wants to hang out with you whenever all the time. Might even suggest you come to his house and chill with him. And he's not gonna give you no money okay if he doesn't want to talk about an arrangement well this dinner was nice um it was a pleasure meeting you um hopefully you find what you're looking for and i will see you later another way to spot a fake sugar daddy let's say you guys are talking online i know a lot of you guys like to do online sugar baby and you know you're talking to a guy online and he keeps saying he's gonna send you money but he's not sending you the money girl he is a fake sugar daddy and he's never gonna send you money one of the biggest 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 lies some of these niggas like to use is oh i don't have a cash app I don't have PayPal, I don't have Venmo, I don't have Apple Pay, I don't have Zelle, like are you, like let's be real, like any real businessman, okay, I don't even have that big of a business, you know, I'm over here still finessing to try to get some money, and I have PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App, okay, like so let's be real. If they tell you that they don't have any of those forms of way to send money, they're fraud and they're wasting your time. Another place that it seems like a lot of these fake sugar daddies be on is Instagram. If he has looking for a sugar baby in his profile, he is trash. If he comments under your shit or sends you a message saying he's looking for a sugar daddy or he's looking for a sugar baby, he is trash. He's not a real sugar daddy. He's probably a scammer. Probably a Nigerian scammer that's going to ask you for your routing number and your bank account number to steal your money. That's another thing. If they ever ask you, let's say you've never met them face to face. And even if you have met them face to face, like go through a lot of precautions before you give out your routing number and your bank account number. Like, you know, I did it, but like I made sure like this person was like legit and and um, not only that, he was a celebrity. So it's like, I believed him, you know? Like, what type of money do I have that a celebrity is gonna wanna take from me? So when I was able to confirm that, okay, this is an actual celebrity and I know he's not like, I know he has way more, way more money than me. Okay, I'll give him my rowdy number and I'll give him my bank account number because I know he's sending me money. Don't just send out your bank account information to anybody. Now, if it's a sugar daddy that you've known for a while, then yeah yeah anyway so that is all honestly if you're using any of these um online dating sites to try to find your sugar daddy just keep in mind some of the things that i told you and um you know good luck hunting sis i want you all to get the bag um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram until next time bye